My name is Haley and I'm a Colorado State University undergraduate student in the history department and I'm interning with the CSU Extension Office. Today I'm interviewing Cindy who is a trainer for the 2020 Meeker Mustang Makeover and to start I just have a couple of background questions. Um, so first of all, what is your profession and your experience with horses? Well, I used to be a professional horse trainer years ago and um, I was forced into retirement early because of an illness. And that illness had me down for about 14 years. And so, of course, I lost my business. And, and I've just been kind of floating out there, not knowing what to do with myself. And then this opportunity came up. And I thought, you know, I'm feeling a lot better. I think I could probably do this. And, and I could help out too, to make sure that a wild Mustang gets a nice home, you know, and, and try to help it live in our world, which can be pretty scary. So Describe an experience you've had with horses where you've been particularly successful and proud of the work you've accomplished. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, well, there's one particular horse that I did get, um, she was as close to a wild Mustang as you could get. She was born on 5,000 acres and she had never seen a human before until she was taken from her mama at two and, and then put into a trailer and then put into a pen. And then she got out of that pen. It took the owner two weeks to catch her. And then he trailered her to me and dumped her off in my round pen. And she was a great big Clydesdale and gorgeous thing. And um, so I just started working with her and she came around pretty quickly. And, and normally in 30 days, I'll have, you know, I'll have all my tools in my tool belt, you know, with this horse, with the, the front and the back spins, the side passing, the one ring backups. Um, opening gates, you know, on, hor on horseback, and uh, just ready, getting that horse per ready to then after 30 days, go on to either, you know, reining or, or uh, barrel racing or jumping or whatever, you know, that owner wants to take that horse into, into that field, so. So with this Clydesdale then, I was able to bring her to the point where they were actually going to use her to wrestle down bulls. And, and so that was pretty awesome to see her go from this wild thing that wanted to jump my seven foot fence to, you know, now wrestling bulls. <laughs> yes. um, so outside of working with horses, how have horses impacted your life and what have you learned from them? Oh my goodness. I've learned a lot about myself and who I am mm -hmm. through them. Um, they have, they have taught me that of course, gentleness and kindness, you know, a spoonful of sugar goes a long way <laughs> than, than to get angry and, and try to force things. And you just can't do that. What are your future goals with horses? Well, right now, um, that has, it seems like it changes every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, my future goals with horses is just to, to make a happy place for them, a happy home. Um, and I have four of my own, not wild Mustangs, they're quarter horses, mm -hmm. um, but I've, I've always, you know, I, I live to support my horses. So why did you decide to join the Meeker Mustang Makeover? Well, when I saw it last year, um, I saw the contestants and, and I, I thought, wow, you know, that, that is uh, definitely something I could do, but I wasn't sure, you know, about this illness. This illness can hit me anytime. 
um, and it can knock me down and have me bedridden for you know four or five months. Mm -hmm. um, so I was really leery about committing to anything, and but my husband told me he says you know you can do this. Why don't you go ahead and, and do this? And I said, well, I, I don't know. And so when they announced that they were looking for next year's 2020 trainers, I thought, you know what? Life is short. I'm going to go do this. <laughs> so I'm going to go sign up. And uh, so I did. And then, you know, and, and I've always wanted to help the wild Mustangs, but I, you know, I don't have a whole lot of money and I just, I thought, how could I help them? I've already got four that I'm feeding now. Yeah. And so it's, it's like, I don't know how I'm going to accomplish this. But then when I saw that, I thought, wow, what a great way to help these wild Mustangs adapt into our life mm -hmm. and, and become something, you know, useful. And, and try to help them become calm in our world so that they can be a happier horse in our world since, you know, they're, they're losing their freedom. And, um, um, so what has been your favorite part of training a Mustang so far? Oh, wow. I think it was the favorite part was when, uh, we were working pretty hard that day, this one particular day, um, working on disengaging the hips. And it was super hot out. And, and I have all kinds of stuff in my round pen to desensitize them. And I went over and I sat down on this great big inner tube, a big red inner tube. And he comes walking up to me, which this horse, was so fearful of me I couldn't even touch him for two weeks and and it was about into the well the latter part of the third week when I finally got to touch him and get the halter on him and get the the number tag off of his neck and uh, but I let him choose to do that you know, I didn't force myself onto him. Mm -hmm. And and normally, like I said, I, I have a horse trained in 30 days. Mm -hmm. So when I heard this was 100 days, I thought, holy cow, you know, these horses ought to be doing all kinds of tricks. <laughs> <laughs> but but really, with the Wild Mustang, this is a whole different ball game. And, and I had no idea. So it really opened my eyes to a whole different world out there. Um, and, and so I sat down with, on this tube and, and he literally walked up to me and for the first time he sniffed my hat. And I thought, wow, that is a big improvement right there. That's awesome. <laughs> and then he starts sniffing me and then he actually got his eye right there even with one of my eyes. Wow. And he like zoomed in on my eye <laughs> and it was, it was like, wow, I've never been that intimate with a horse before. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah so that was, that was a wow moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds incredible. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It really was. <laughs> so what do you hope to accomplish by competing in the Meeker Mustang makeover? I hope to accomplish the calmest horse there in the arena and, and to just have him perform at the best of his abilities at where we are at for the hundredth day. I am not going to push him to do anything that he's not ready for and uh, just make sure that, that each thing that he does do, he does well. So that's my that's my goal is that he just does well at what he can. So kind of to wrap things up, is there anything else you would like to share with the audience? Oh, wow. Just that if you're going to, to purchase one of these wild Mustangs, make sure you have time. 
spend some time with them and they can be your best friend. So that's what I'll leave you with. Awesome. Well, thank you for chatting with me and good luck with the rest of your training. And I look forward to seeing the results in September. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time as well.